We begin with breaking news. A beach rescue in Norfolk. Two people reportedly had trouble. Crews raced to East Ocean View Avenue near Beachview Street, and that's where we find tenant your size Jason Marks. What is the latest, Jason? Well, Tom, I can tell you police just cleared the scene moments ago. They were out here for hours trying to figure out exactly what went wrong in the water tonight. Now, here's what we know. We know two swimmers went to the hospital. One of those swimmers has life-threatening injuries. Now, this all happened around 8.30 here, and as you mentioned, on East Ocean View hours, uh, East Ocean View Avenue, right behind the executive towers. Now, we spoke with a fisherman who was right there at the time. He was the one who actually uh, called police, and here's what he had to say. They were out there horse playing around a little bit, you know, for a while. I just happened to look down the beach and I see one of his buddies dragging him in. And at the time, I thought it was still horse playing. And then he got him down on the beach part and started pumping his chest. So that's when I dropped my pole and hauled ass down, down the beach. And I said, everything all right? And he, he was like, help, help. And then my son come running behind me and we got up on the kid. And, you know, he was foaming at the mouth and the nose. Yeah, he said kid, but he said that the two uh, two men that he saw were actually in their early 20s. Uh, he said it was something that he would never want to see again, that just the sight of that person lying on the ground. As we mentioned, uh, both men were taken to the hospital, life-threatening injuries for one of them. Now, they were taken to DePaul Medical Center, and, and fire officials tell me they were taken to DePaul because DePaul is equipped with a hyperbaric chamber, which uh, gives the body a really quick oxygen. You know, that's the case if you get the bends, if you're a diver. You're put into a hyperbaric chamber. So they took that, the man that was in life threatening, had those life threatening injuries, they took him over to DePaul, put him in a hyperbaric chamber, according to fire officials. That's why they went to that facility. Uh, we're still waiting to find out the condition of the other swimmer tonight, uh, but we're told he was in much better shape than obviously the one who's fighting for his life tonight. That's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.